Okay guys, let's start out and talk about the breadboard today. This is the breadboard and you use it to build electronic circuits. It's good when you're building them on their own and it works well with your Arduino or other microprocessor development boards. And I'll show you how we use it to put together circuits with components like the LED and such. But first let me explain the way it's laid out so that you can understand how to use it. Now down the left and the right sides, if it'll focus, 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 there we go, you have your ground and your VCC. It's on both sides and they are connected going down in columns. They are not connected together, however, across the width of the board. Now here we have our component rows and they are connected in rows. A, B, C, D, and E are all connected together, but they are not connected to this column, this column, or this column. And where we have the split in the center separates F, G, H, I, and J from A, B, C, D, and E. And the reason that's nice is, say you want to use an IC, well you can just plug it in like this, and you bridge the gap with the chip, but these two sets of pins are isolated. What you connect on this side is not connected over here, and vice versa. Now the reason that breadboards are so easy to use, and so versatile to have on hand, is they make it easy to hook up your components. For instance, if you're gonna set something up with some LEDs, and you know, say you need to run your LED, so we'll plug it here in two different columns. We have our anode and our cathode. And we're going to need to put in a resistor to limit the current. This is a 220 ohm resistor. We'll plug it in the same row as the cathode. And we can run that to our ground reference. Now, we can take one of these handy dandy jumper wires, they come in all different lengths and colors, plug it into our anode there, and this can be plugged in to our Arduino to activate a pin, or if say we're using it with like a 555 timer, or something like that, an IC, we can bring that over here and plug it into one of the pins. So you don't have to solder or twist anything together, and all you have to do is hook up your different pins, your different components, into the different holes, and away you go. So this is the breadboard. Now, they come in all different sizes. I'm going to say this one here is an average size. It's about two and a half inches long, and it's about eight inches wide. You can get them really small, they're about like this, and you can get them much larger. If you've bought yourself an Arduino starter kit, it's probably going to come with a breadboard. And that's good. Your Arduino starter kit probably comes with a little acrylic piece like this. And then you can even mount your breadboard right next to it. Just like that. And you're ready for experimentation. So in the next part of this series, we are going to hook up a little circuit. Where we're going to blink an LED. That's one of the first programs, or sketches as they're called in Arduino, that you learn to do. And in order to do that, we're going to use a breadboard a 
along with our Arduino. And we're going to hook it up something like this. See how simple and quick that was to hook up? Now everything is ready and we just need to put the code in. So that'll be in our video tomorrow. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe. We will have basic electronics videos every day of the week, 52 weeks a year.